So it is the final minor league of obviously team of the season so far. Whether we see a complete rest of world, that will be obviously on Sunday. But we have got the objective for today and it is going to be Otavia. The 90 rated right mid looks relatively standard to be honest. I feel like we've had non-stop objectives that... Sometimes have been a little bit underwhelming. In terms of this card, what have we got to do then? Let's have a look. Score five goals using from Portuguese uh, or Portuguese players. Obviously, rival semi-pro on squad battles, or obviously in your foot champs if you are crazy. Then we've got to assist five goals again using players from Liga Portugal. Again in the same game modes, score an assist using Portuguese players in three separate matches, and finally win seven matches with at least one Portuguese player in the team pretty standard and i like these objectives like a 90 rated card i'm never going to complain about it should be easy should be relatively simple the only thing that i'm kind of getting bored bored of with these and i don't know if you're the same or you literally just don't care is the fact everything is always the same and i know there's not too much they can do but we have a perfect game mode in moments that they could just randomly put a player in could be something you've got to finish the whole set of the portuguese moments to get atavia something a little bit different but we have got the standard as normal let's have a quick look at some of the team of the seasons then and see who's going to be the best players to get it done with i don't think they're going to be on here as of yet so let's go into the team and find out who we could be using with obviously the team of the season as well, we should have, I'm hoping, some relatively decent ones from obviously the Portuguese league as they tend to be relatively nice. Pen, uh, Pedro Gon, uh, Gonzalez, Con, Conga, yeah, we, we don't come here for pronunciations, do we? Obviously a five star, four star, five, eight, left wing cat, well left wing, left mid, right wing. I'd like to tell you about skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise, from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts, from trusted sellers, pro players, and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games, and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. Looks solid. Great finishing. Dribbling looks sensational. Good stamina. Finesse flair. Never going to argue there. Obviously, we've got our... What is it? Is it Ar Iranian? Yeah, Iranian striker. 4-4. Four, four. Pretty standard on the striker there. Again, some traits we can go with. Jean Mario. Was he a centre mid before? Yeah, right mid. That's an interesting card change. Obviously, you can go for a centre mid. An anchor would sort that card out. Lovely. 4-4 four, four as well. Definitely one not to be slept on, most definitely. We've got Bellerin. I'm pretty sure he is the SBC for today. 95 pace, pretty standard. Yeah, not terrible, to be fair. If you're looking at a Spanish team, you're never going to argue. We have Grimaldo as a four-star, four-star. Can be left mid as well. Not going to really hit it with a finishing, but defending looking good. We have Otamende, blast from the past, obviously looking good. 85 pace, 90 defending, 91 physical. Not bad at all. Again, as a good, a standard centre back, really. We have Ramos, five star, four star, looking at maybe a cheaper beast to go with there. 91 rated. And then we have a couple more with Diego Costa. I believe Man, you were looking at him, to be honest. And I think that is about it. I don't think by the looks of it, there's any more. I feel like that is it. I could imagine there's not going to be any 87. So you've got a fair few to choose from. Who have I actually got in the team? Wow, we don't actually have anybody. Well, that's uh, not surprising. So realistically, we could go get Bellerin, who I can imagine is quite cheap, to get this done relatively easily. Bellerin is going to come in at... It's got to be cheap, surely. Bellerin, one squad, as we kind of expected. 84, one team at a week, 185. I mean, I'd probably have gone 83 personally for him, just the fact that... He's not really going to get in people's teams, but I suppose at the same time, he's got a major nation, obviously, link. What Portuguese players can we have then? Because obviously, we do have the Portuguese objective, but then also Portugal as a nation do require some players. And then we should have a few that we've got. Obviously, Figo there, Pelinha. We have a Ronaldo, obviously, flashback there. Nuno Mendes and Diaz if we wanted to. But I'm pretty sure we've got to score an assist. So that's not going to work out too much for this objective. So let's double check over and see what the best course of action is. 
I'd imagine if you are doing squad, uh, if you're doing rivals, then that's probably going to be the best place to get it done. Obviously, to score five goals can be in one match. Assist five goals can be in one. Score and assist using Portuguese players in one in three matches. That is the only one that is separate matches in terms of goals. And obviously, you just play two Portuguese players, get the assist and the goal on one goal absolute golden and then finally win seven with one portuguese player in realistically if you've not got any of the big boys by now i would say go do bellerin stick him in the team to be honest he could probably stay in the team get your portuguese strikers on two of them at the very minimum if you've got yourself a cheeky eusebio or any loans obviously someone like a figo and then a cr7 if you've managed to then obviously you can get that relatively easy seven matches Get it done. Very, very nice. A four-star, four-star. Did we already go over him? Left mid, right wing, right mid. Again, looking as standard as you're going to see. Some nice dribbling. Bit of stamina. Leadership flair on the traits. Not a bad card, but whether you want to do him, totally down to you. I feel like more fodder, if anything. So let me know if you're going to do him. Make sure you like and subscribe on this. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.